Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. If you're new here, hi, hello. Today we are talking about how to not give up on your goals. I feel like in the beginning of the year, it's easy to have tons of motivation to accomplish your goals, but now we are a few weeks into the year and it's kind of getting to that time where that motivation starts to fade and people start to give up on their goals. And it's usually not because that's not your goal anymore. So that's kind of what we're gonna get into today. But don't worry. I have some great tips that I'm gonna share with you today that will help you see your goals through to the finish line. And I always like to mention that I'm not perfect either. I am working on this myself. So we are in this together and all we can do is get better from here. There is just absolutely no time to waste to not go after the things that you want because time passes by so quickly and it will pass anyway. So why not be making some progress towards your goals in that time? So yeah, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and make sure you are subscribed with your notifications on. And without further ado, let's get into the reason you clicked on this video. So my first tip is something that I actually just started doing this year, but I feel like it's been really helping me stay focused on my goals, and that is creating a vision board. So basically, you just look up some photos. I just looked on Pinterest and Google, and you find ones that represent your goals then from there you could either print the photos out and put them on a poster board to hang up on your wall or something or you can do what I did which was create it digitally on canva.com I really like doing it this way because then you can actually set it as your laptop background and then whenever you open up your computer you'll see it and it can just instantly remind you of your goals and I was actually just thinking that you could make like a phone version of it as well and then put it as your phone background too and the reason to do this is because because vision boards really help you envision your goals and they can serve as a daily reminder of the goals that you set because like I was saying in the beginning it's not that you don't have that goal anymore and that's why you're giving up on them it's just that it gets really easy to forget about when you're not constantly reminding yourself of them and maybe you just need a little spark to get amped up again so that's why vision boards are perfect for that and they're actually really fun to make I had a great time making mine they are very aesthetic so they're really nice to look at too. So I would highly recommend making one as soon as you can. Another thing you can do to not give up on your goals is to set some deadlines. If you give yourself two weeks to clean your room, it will take two weeks. But if you give yourself an hour to clean your room, then it will take an hour. So it's really all about setting a time frame to complete your goal. I know for me, whenever I have a trip coming up, I'm always very on top of getting everything done because I have that deadline of the trip. So a good example, of this would be I want to read a book by March 1st so that's a little over a month away so now you know exactly when you need to finish your book by but yeah deadlines are just really motivating it's nice to see an endpoint to your goal and once you complete one you can just set a new deadline and on top of setting deadlines you want to make sure that you have taken the time I can see Nala in the reflection and she's so sweet she's sleeping but you want to make sure that you've taken the time to actually write out your goal on paper it just feels a lot more serious when you actually write them out but not in a really broad way like I want to be healthier I want to read more those just aren't specific enough and don't worry I've done this so many times too but the truth is if you don't have a destination then you're kind of just aiming at a bullseye with a blindfold on but let's say you make it more specific like I want to go to the gym four times a week for 45 minutes or I want to cook four meals at home a week you are way more likely to hit a target or goal if you can actually measure it and see it more clearly and now that you actually have your goals written out really specifically I want you to read them once in the morning and once at night this constant reminder of your goals it's what's going to not let you forget about them I'm probably gonna say this many times throughout the video but that's what it's all about you got to keep reminding yourself of your goals this kind of leads me into my next tip which is to tell yourself that you are more than capable of accomplishing your goals. Maybe the reason that you've started to give up is because you're having some self-doubt and you're self-sabotaging, been there, done that. So that's why rereading your goals and maybe even saying them out loud to yourself every single day for even just like a week, you will notice a shift in your mindset from, I don't know if this is something that I can do to this is something I am going to do and nobody's going to stop me. This actually reminds me of a quote that I love which is 
is that don't let yourself get in your own damn way. And that is just so true. It's also really important to remember why you started. What made you even want to accomplish this goal in the first place? And only you can decide what that answer is. Maybe it's to have more energy, to do fun activities. Maybe it's to gain more knowledge and spend less time on social media. Whatever the answer may be, just make sure that it really resonates with you because this is the thing that's going to propel you to keep going even when things get hard. And it's also really important to remember that you made a commitment to yourself and you want to see it through. You will be so proud of yourself that you kept going even if you fell off track for a little bit. And something cool to think about is that you accomplishing your goals not only affects you, but also the people around you. You don't even realize the people that you are inspiring. You will push them to be better versions of themselves too, which I just think is so amazing. It's a really cool ripple effect. I truly think if you apply all of these tips that you will be unstoppable and finally reach that goal that you have been striving for. Make that vision board, set deadlines, write out your goals, get specific, believe you can do it. And lastly, remember why you started. I am rooting for all of you. I know we can do it. 2020 is going to be our year. I can just feel it. Let's make it the best one yet, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful in some way, please let me know in the comments and also make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe with notifications on. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next one. Bye.